Well, uh, a very good afternoon to you people of Southport. Now, as you can see, we've got a few coppers around. We've got a few uh, baddies around, you know. I wonder if I asked you, if you're around and you run into the police, I wonder if I asked you, are you a bad person? What might you say? I mean, would you like to see me, as a street preacher, getting arrested going in the back of one of those vans? How many would love to see every street preacher in Britain off the street? Would you like to see that? Would you like to see street preachers telling people about Jesus, the Bible, would you like that all to stop? Big question for you, because many people do, don't they? Now on my board, as you can see, I've got the six most hated men who've ever walked on planet Earth. So here's the big question for you right now. Who would you add to this list? Who might you add to this list of the six most hated men? Who do you think should be on this board right now? What did you say? You said Hitler. Hitler's on there already, okay? Any other suggestions? You think I should be on there? I'm a hated man. What did I ever do? Big mouth. Big mouth. Oh, that's it. Okay, so I'm one of the most hated ones. I've got a big mouth. You sound like my wife, madam. Okay. <laughs> and Jesus said this. If you're not for me, you're against me. They hated Jesus without a cause. They put him on a cross. You know, they, they plucked out his beard. You know, they spat on him. You know, they put nails through his hands and his feet. They smashed the crown of thorns into his skull. There he was stripped naked, bleeding there, dying there, the most ugly of deaths. And yet he did nothing wrong. He was the one, every time he laid hands on people, it was to help them. Every time these people, they went to hurt people. Every time he spoke things, it was kind words. These men spoke evil words. And yet the world did horrible things to Jesus by putting him on the cross. But you know why he was on that cross? He didn't go there because, you know, it, it just happened. He laid down his life willingly. Because you and I have got a problem. It begins with S and it ends in I. What is that? Sin. And you and I, we've done sins. We've told lies. We've stolen things. Perhaps we've got drunken. We've had sex outside of marriage. We've all done wrong things. And when Jesus was on the cross, all of my things, all of your things, all the worst sins we've committed, even the, the ones we've forgotten about, it was put on Christ and he was punished there so you could be forgiven. So it's all you have to do is call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Would you like that today? You call out to him wherever you are. If you can hear me, you're embarrassed to be seen dead and with a street preacher. You call out to Jesus Christ. He'll save you. He'll wash away all of your sins and he'll give you hope. Is there many people out here today who can give you hope? not is there? Can any politicians give you hope? Will Rishi Sunak give you hope? Will Joe Biden give you hope? Not many men can give you hope but the Son of God Jesus Christ can give you hope. Jesus said about himself, if the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. Now one day I'm gonna die, one day you're gonna die. I've got no hair on my head which is a sign that I'm dying. It's a sign I'm decaying. Some of us have got wrinkles, some of us have got grey hair, some of us our knees just don't work the same. We're all going one way. We're all going the way into the grave. But Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came into this world and he shed his blood. He took all the worst things you've ever done, all the lies, everything you've done. And on the cross, he was nailed there so that you could be forgiven. So you put your trust in him, you could be forgiven. You then died, he was buried. And then what happened on the third day? He rose from the dead. And that's what makes Jesus so, so important. If you died, any of you, if you died and then three days later came back from the dead, I'd listen very carefully to what you have to say. And that's why we listen to Jesus when he says, I can set you free. I can give you eternal life. I can wash away all of your sins. If only you'll just come to me. And that's the big question. Will you come? Will you put your trust in the Lord Jesus today? If anyone today would like a portion of the Bible for free, at John's Gospel, I'd love to give that to you. To take home with you today. You won't get anything free in any of these shops today. And I'm giving you the most precious thing. <laughs> I should be a stand-up comedian, me. <laughs> Would you like one? Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. Would you like one?